Hey guys, welcome to another Gate Youth YouTube video. I'm so excited to be here with you today. I hope you're doing well in the midst of what's going on. Um, this video today is all about what to do when you get bored out of your brain at home. Without further ado, let's begin the video. This video is titled, Eight Things You Can Do When You're Bored at Home. Number one, cool an elderly relative. It is really, really crucial for the elderly in our nation at this time, guys. It's a tough situation. Uh, many of them are isolated um, in their own home. Um, those who aren't married are probably feeling really, really lonely right now. So particularly if you've got a grandma or granddad or great auntie or uncle who you're really close with who's on their own at home, give them a call, pick up the phone. They might not use WhatsApp with you or anything like that. Give them a ring. They will absolutely love to hear from you and I can assure you it will make their day. Have a go guys. Awesome, on to number two. Number two is helping your family or your friends with shopping and jobs. It's probably more likely to be family, isn't it? Let's face it, we're in isolation, um, quarantine. So uh, there's, there's, it takes loads to run a household. Guys, I never knew this when I was young, but actually there's a lot of work that goes into it. So appreciate your parents um, and go and help them with the shopping one day. Make sure you obviously wash your hands when you get back, you don't touch your face, your mouth and all that. Um, help them with the shopping and get involved with stuff around the home. If there's DIY being done, get involved, learn some new skills. Um, if there's just work jobs that need doing around your house, chores and all that kind of stuff, get involved, do it. Um, learn some new things. I wish I had done more chores when I was younger. I'm not actually joking. I actually look back and think, Mum, I wish you'd made me do more things. It would have made me um, a lot more ready for uni life and married life. <laughs> okay, on to number three. All right, number three, guys, is spend quality time with your family. So I don't know what you like to do um, with your family to have a good time. We like to play games, video games, bake together, watch films together, and go on walks together. That's another thing to, great thing to do at the moment, be active. Um, but yeah, just like, we're stuck with our family, aren't we, at the moment? We're isolated with them. We didn't choose them, but they're going to be around for the rest of our lives. That's the idea. So let's have an amazing time with our parent, our parents, our, our brother and sister, or siblings. Um, let's make the most of this and let's spend quality time with the people around us who love us. On to number four. <sighs> number four, guys, is read the Bible. There is no better time to be getting into the Word than right now in the midst of all this. What has God got to say? about this, um, what's going on, um, about our lives. There's no better time to be reading the Bible and getting into his word, guys. Um, it's so important. And um, like, begin reading through some of it as well. Like there's, there's so many short accessible books, particularly in the New Testament. There's like some of the, um, the books that Paul wrote to the early churches, like Colossians, Ephesians, Philippians, Galatians, uh, 1 Peter, that's brilliant right that. We 1 Peter, 2 Peter, James. Um, there's just some fantastic books in there which are really short. Work your way through them, guys. What has God got to say to you for your life? And what has he got to say to this world? It's an incredibly exciting book. It's changed my life. Guys, let's read the Bible. So, fifth thing you can do when you're bored at home, explore new and listen to new worship music. I don't know if you've watched the video I did on worship a few months ago, guys. Uh, it's on the Gate Youth channel in the Gate Youth playlist. Um, check it out and definitely check out the bands that I recommended on that. Um, let, I think it's a really, really great time to just trawl through Spotify, YouTube, find some new music that we like, discover something new um, that's of God and positive and gives him glory. Um, let's do that together, guys, and, and spend time in worship as well. Just carve out 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there to worship God, to just sit and just listen to um, some music that helps you to connect with him, that helps you to praise him and helps you to, to acknowledge that he is present, that he is here with us. Um, yeah, so listen to some worship music, guys. That is the fifth thing you can do when you are bored at home. Over to number six. 
So guys, number six is find new Christian podcasts or Christian YouTube channels that you can enjoy and explore and like feed from, be nourished by in your faith. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes I can feel a little dry and I need a bit of inspiration from outside of myself. What is God saying to somebody else that I haven't yet understood? You know, because we don't each know everything. Um, and it's so important that we listen to other people, listen to people's wisdom. Um, there is obviously some wisdom needed in that as well, like because not everything you're going to hear on YouTube or on a podcast is true. So it's really important to go back to the word and check it out. Um, in Acts chapter 17, I believe it is, um, Paul went to a place called Berea in Greece, or modern day Greece, kind of Macedonia area. And um, what they did, which really impressed him, is that when he spoke to them about Jesus and the gospel, is they went back to the word, to the Bible, and checked against what Paul was saying. So when you hear stuff, guys, and you're not sure about it on YouTube or on podcasts, whatever, check it. Ask me, ask members of the youth team, um, because it's, it's really important that we're being fed, but we don't wanna be fed stuff that is, actually isn't helpful. So I'm gonna put some links in the description below to some stuff that I think is really, really awesome, um, really wholesome, and is really, probably really helpful for you as well. So check that out, guys. There's no better time to get some inspiration and get fired up about God and his truth. Guys, let's listen to people who God has been speaking to. Listen to YouTube um, channels and podcasts and have a great time. So guys, the seventh thing we can do is spend time in prayer. Jesus would spend a lot of time in prayer. He's our example. And he would carve out sometimes entire nights to seek God and to pray. And I'm not saying we need to do that, but guys, even Jesus knew the importance of spending time with his Father in heaven. So how much more important is it for us to be spending time with our Father in heaven? So let's carve out some time to pray. Pray for our nation, pray for wisdom. If you want any more ideas about things to pray for, check out the video I did the other day on five things to do in a disaster. Um, but guys, let's pray, okay? On to number eight. Finally, the eighth thing you can do when you're bored at home is, I'm just gonna say it, schoolwork. Aye. I know you're thinking, close, turn the video off, unsubscribe, dislike, S troll him in the comments. But um, yeah, your education is so important, guys. Yes, God has a plan and a future for your life, but he also expects each of, each of us to take responsibility and to work hard and put in the shift as we rely on him. <laughs> um, and I know you probably don't like doing loads of schoolwork, but it's, it's, yeah, it's totally vital. So really make sure you do get it done. Um, and if you're really not feeling some work, particularly I know friends who are teachers who say one of the most important things you can do is read. So guys, obviously I'm gonna say, read your Bible. But um, also just find some books you just love. Like find a new book which you really, really wanna read or an old one which you've read before and you just, you just love reading it. And read, it is so good for your brain to read. So let's do schoolwork and failing that, read, have a good time. Guys, I hope the video has been helpful. Um, these are eight things that you can do when you're bored and stuck at home. Let's have a great time in this isolation. Bonus tip. Whatever you do, don't get lonely. Make sure you're spending time with friends and hanging out with friends and speaking to them and all that on social media and, and everything. Um, hope this has been helpful, guys. Have a great rest of your week. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>